pretty much it. I've always drawn, always wanted to be an artist and just had a quite a hard time growing up in the country, being all kinds of minorities. My dad was a printer uh, and also didn't really like to talk very much so he would just bring home off cuts and paper for me and stick them in front of me and be like there you go draw so i think i got lots of practice that way when i came to melbourne i knew like three other people and none of us knew anyone else so we just used to stay home every night and every weekend and just watch Rage and just play music together. So I use this one to make lots of noise and this one to make like kung kung kung. I just started doing all posters just making them as good as I could. And then if anyone asked what I did for a living, I would just tell them that I was an illustrator, even though I'd never been paid for it. And then people, I think people were just like, oh yeah, that's Celeste from Out My Face. She's an illustrator, she'll do a poster for you. And I'd be like, yeah, I do it, it's a hundred dollars. <laughs> and that's how I became an illustrator. I lied. My dream is just to make music videos and art and record covers. But yeah, I, I, I kind of do everything I want to do already. Actually, this is my favorite one. It's a collage, like 3D collage with plasticine and stuff. And then th this side has got pumpkin seeds and pine nuts. So I've just started a Etsy shop. That's my dad. Pink one is my cat it's called Dusty. And then the red one is my friend's cat called Vader. And that blue one is my future cat called Marmalade. Oh, and that's a girl playing the um, recorder while she has her period. Thank you.